bloody hell, I need my sunglasses. Today, a bit flaky, I need a scrub, but uh, my sunburn is going, which is good. Today's gonna be a real long, nippy day. Bangkok to Kok Chang, Ko Chang. I'm at my bus station, and it's it's not how it used to be. There used to be loads of buses here, and more or less, as soon as you arrive, you, you get a bus to Ko Chang. Now, I've got a taxi here. When I come out of the apartment this morning, the, the worst hotel I've ever stayed in, uh, there was a taxi more or less straight outside, so I got all my gear into the cab, um, and he brought me here. Now, today being Saturday, I thought it was, it, the, the traffic's quite quiet, so I got up, it's coming up to about 10 at the moment. But um, it's going to be a busy day, so I got up early. I thought I'd get an early bus and escape the rush, but that's not going to happen because the big buses and the normal buses, uh, they've stopped them. They don't get run to Ko Chang, obviously not enough people going. And so the only option right now at FMI is to get on the, one of those mini buses, not the real VIP ones to avoid, the same sort of bus that I've got on from Kanchanaburi to Bangkok. Um, which wasn't too bad, except if you've got a load of luggage like me, they're going to try and sell you two tickets. Which, I know it's going to happen, but it is what it is. I'm not going to moan about today. I know what kind of day awaits me. So it's just going through the motions. Uh, Bangkok is, is, as you've probably seen from the last couple of videos, it's really desperate and shut down, and they're not really going to be open until the, the middle of January next year. So right, I've got, I'm, I'm coming in now, I've got out of that sun because it's a bit bright. This is the Ekamai station. And this, the, the, the Ko Chang is over here, the bus. A little bit of a queue there at the moment, but uh, a couple of the ladies have been really helpful. All that flickering, look, that's from the horrible lights. But here's where you get the bus, just here. And that's, that's going at 12, so you're just waiting for the ticket office. Which I'll have to get in the queue because I bet I bet there'll be a little bit of an argy bargy shove to get a ticket. <sighs> it's good. Can you see yourself okay. there, buddy? Okay, one second. I don't know if I've done the right thing here, but it's half past day. There's no way I'm waiting three and a half hours for a bus to coach Shang. So I bought a ticket to Padilla and oh look what that stuck me on man, I've got to get on one of these things. So every muscle in my body is going to ache the time I get the paddy up. But there's a seat there. <laughs> look, look how cramped this is, man. Hello! <laughs> I think I'm going to have to sit here. Back in out. Anyway, I'll be in Patty in about two hours, two and a half hours. Another sleepover, but... Oh, better than being in Bangkok. Okay, Paddy R, dumped on the street. <laughs> Just waiting to get a taxi to find a hotel. I'm in John GM. About, if you look that way, can't really see much, but the beach is down there. I'd say 150 yards, uh, which I will be in a little while. I'm going in the sea. But a young lady, I, 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 I met a cool guy on the bus. On the bus on the minibus currently living in Bangkok working as a school teacher a Scottish guy which is cool because I'm fluent in Scottish uh, and we when we got dumped off at the the bus station in Pattaya uh, we shared uh, a taxi down here I think he's just staying around the uh, around the corner the hotels there a little bit expensive for me so I, I managed to just walk down here I met a young girl on the beach as a lot of the hotels and guest houses are shut so she's staying oh, in here, this room up here at the top. And she brought me down here and I managed to get a room reduced from 600 to 450 a night. Uh, and I'm staying here for three nights. And this right there, that's where I'm going to be staying. A little on the ground floor, a little outside balcony, which is pretty cool, you know. So I can chill there, I can do all my internet, get my YouTube vlogs up. I'm going to be here for three days, so I'll be concentrating on getting the vlogs from Kanchanaburi up there and I say lots of places are shut the first two places I tried on the main street the, 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 there weren't any 
speaking, English speaking people. I mean, words are all messed up. Just been on a bus, I haven't had breakfast yet. I need something to eat because I'm a little bit worn up from, from bringing on my luggage from up there. It does weigh quite a bit, uh, but I'm happy. I've got a room for three days here in John Chiam, right near the beach. So I'm gonna chill here for three days uh, while I catch up on stuff. And I'll try and make some vlogs here, bring, bring, bring something to the table to see what John Chiam and Patty are. Uh, see what see what vlogs I can make here. I'm gonna be out and about most days. I did see a, a go kart track on the way in, and I've never had a go at go kart racing, but I, I fancy it. So I, I'll see if I can have a little crack at doing that. But in the meantime, let's just let's have a little look. The hotel's really cool. We've got a coffee bar right at the front. So I've done all my checks. Any they they did what I see all my PCR checks and everything like that. So I've done all that. So I'll just have a walk in. Cool. Hello, hello, hello. Squaddy cat. It's a little bit dark, but I left my door open. Hey, so here I am. All my crap everywhere because I couldn't find a passport and stuff like that. I forgot what bag I'd put it in as per normal. So I'm all checked in. Now, like I see this room, I'll open it up. The room is pretty good. Massive double bed, which I hope isn't too hard. I've got a table over there that I can put my laptop on. I'm currently laptop up here at the moment um, something's I'm loading up a vlog there which you'll probably see well you would have seen already wouldn't you of course you would and I've got a fridge a fridge is good I've got all sorts in here the room is spacious bathroom oh, wicked Charlotte 450 bar which is cool as long as I stay for three days it's always the thing I don't mind staying as if I can get the price right because it means I can chill I can enjoy the area and even three days, if, if I, I'm in no hurry, oh, let's see what's outside. Let's see if I have shown you the correct room from outside. No, I haven't. I'll, I'll show you next doors. <laughs> That's typical me. If I'm going to get it wrong, I'll get it wrong. I don't, I don't make up. It just, oh, it's just how I am. It's just how I am. Okay. So, I'm going to have a little walk down the beach beach road and I need some flip-flops because all I've got is proper walking boots and shoes and and my little uh, shoes to walk about in the water with so I am gonna see might I can find some flip-flops proper hot it's proper hot okay now I I've just had a little walk up I could I found two places that sell flip-flops but they both they won't let me what is the right way? I just wanted to look for the flip-flops, but they just get in your face, the Thai people. They start trying to pull stuff out and show you, and I'm like, you know, I'm not four years old. You know, I can look, I can look for stuff myself. When I go back, I'll show you what I mean, because I, I, there are only two shops down there that are open, so I'm gonna have to go and, gonna have to go back and, and buy a pair, because nowhere else has, has got any flip-flops. So I've got that sun up there, so I'll walk this way, walk backwards. As that is John GM Beach behind me. I walk along here. As you walk straight that way, I'll take you to Pattaya. But what? I haven't eaten yet. I know, but I am now. I've spotted a little bar over here that are doing all-day breakfast. They do burgers and fries, and I haven't eaten any of that stuff for quite some time. But right next to it is a little Thai place that do the chicken. So I was like, I don't know what I want to eat. I was like. So I've had a little walk up there, a little street to see if there's anything else, and I can't find anything else, so I've come back. And I'm now going to have an all-day breakfast, a cheeseburger, I'm going to have some fries. Yep, I am. So I've just got to go into there, and I'll put the camera on when I'm in there, just to see if the food is actually any good. And then I'll go back and get my flip-flops, and you'll see how annoying it is when you're actually trying to buy something that's what I don't know when you're actually trying to buy something and they can't you know they don't leave you to it they'd get more business if they did that but the Thai people just don't get that concept but I don't think it's just Thai people I just think there's people on the beach anyway they can't help but picture and, and all that so we're going in because I, I say it's as if I can get on the beach today and have a swim I've got to eat something first Okay, the Pirate Bay calf was terrible. It was really terrible. I had an English breakfast. 
Mushrooms were burnt, fried were crisp, the potatoes were cold, baked beans were lukewarm, eggs were a bit snotty, and that was the best, that was the best bit of it. The burger was rank. Um, every time I tried to hold of a burger, it kept sliding out of the bun. I don't know what that's all about. Anyway, having a good bloody moan, isn't it? And uh, I've had some food, and that come to 4.40, which is just over a 10 at 4.08. And that's my own fault, because I went against my better judgment. Should have gone next door and had the chicken and the chicken soup, with what I'm used to. It would have probably been about 100, 120 baht, a third of the cost. But you know, fancied a bit of substance. So there I go, and that was the Pirate Bay Cafe, right there on the corner. So if you feel the need to go in there, it's your own bloody fault, isn't it? Oh, that was rank. And I didn't film it because they're playing bloody loud music as normal, so I thought, right, let's get out of Dodge. And I walked down there because I saw a 7-Eleven. I can get a beverage. The coffee was all right. That was probably the best thing about the whole thing. The coffee was okay, but it was very small, and I'd done it in three done it in three sips so I don't know it's almost like an espresso oh man but it's hot look 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 it's a beach I'm on the beach I'm on the beach for the first time and in I don't know how long which is cool that's oh man I find it difficult to walk on this beach it's pretty thick sand <laughs> oh, it's like an exercise Okay, let's find a 7-Eleven because I fancy a bottle of some electrolytes and stuff like that. And then I'm going to go back and I'm going to buy some flip-flops to make life easier for myself. These walking boots ain't good in the heat. My feet are trapped. Okay. Flip-flop time. Come to flip-flops before it's a 7-Eleven. Turn this around because I'm not going to persecute myself for your benefit and I'm going to put up with the salesman. I've got to have a pair of flip flops, so that's where I'm going. I'm going to try the left one first to see if I can actually get anywhere near them. They don't actually look too good. I can see from here. I can see from here that there's nothing there for me. Nice. No, so I step over here. See what this guy's got. See if I get peace. So I can actually pick a pair of flip flops before. So chill, mate. It's okay. <laughs> he's up. I tell you, he's up like a lightning bolt. Um, oh, what are we gonna have? They they might just do the job, those. But the thing of it is, you buy them. They, they, you know, they're, they're gonna pull through within a few days. What are they size eleven? That looks like a size nine. Da, da, da. Da, 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 da. What these ones? Okay, well, that's quite good. He's actually left me alone, so you know what? I'm gonna buy something. I'm gonna, I might even go in here, look, for the Quicksilver. What are they, size 60? I want 44. These will do, mate. These will do. Quicksilver. Mm hmm. How much are these, boss? This one. Uh, 100? 100? 100 baht? 150. Oh, okay. Size 10, these ones, yes? Uh, 44, yes, 10? Yes, 16. 16? Yeah, no way. 16. Uh, no you way. Can on. I, uh, we have a small size also. Thanks. Okay. Size 16. Wow. Okay, they look at like my feet have shrunk. Just fine, we have smaller too. You have, yeah. Can you find me a size 10 or 11 on them? I'm getting my boots off, mate. I'll... This one for you, 14 is okay. Okay, 14 tie start, tie. Okay, if you can find me one of them, I'll be happy. 150 baht. And look, that's what I've been wearing, look. I've been walking about in them, getting out my feet. No, with socks on, yeah, I know, I know. It's an English thing. No? Yeah, have, have. have, okay. Okay, I'm getting this 150 baht. That was just, that was a lot more painless than I thought. <laughs> it might be a while. 
And what? You need some. Now I've got everything else, bruv. Thank you. Thank you. Take one more. What? Why not? What? Uh, mate, have you seen my luggage? <laughs> I've got more luggage than you've got in your. I think I've got more in my luggage than you've got in yourself, buddy. Yeah? Yeah. This yeah. Is, uh, okay. Can you come? Okay. England. That looks more like it, my friend, yeah. Oh, mate. That's a good tight fit, I like that. This... Okay, cut up, boom. Okay. Yes, my feet can breathe. <laughs> You say 100? 150. <laughs> 150 baht. Yes, cup sir. and cap. That's not bad, is it? 150 baht? It's cheap. It's less than a fiver. That's like 350 for them. That's good. And they feel okay. Got tag, I still got the tag on. He's gonna take the tag off. Oh cool, that's cool. Feet are oh, good. Oh happy. It's like walking on sponge. <laughs> I'm like, whoa, I've got these flip flops. Literally how I feel. I'm walking on here. I'm not walking really silly. <laughs> I am walking really silly. So I've got to get used to my new boots. Wow. How does it go? Brand new pair of shoes and you walk like somebody else? That's exactly what I'm doing. I'm trying not to. Right. It's one thing I've got to pull myself up for is looking for a landmark when I came out of this street. I've all this seafood and stuff to have a go out. Look, that's all been stuck. That's probably been there for a week. No idea how long that food's been hanging about there. Now, moonshine, there it is ahead. So that's me. I know a little street. I did pick up a landline, a landmark some sort so I can remember where I live John GM Beach I must have walked <laughs> now I must have walked I've walked from all the way you can see those big buildings right in the back there I've walked from there I reckon I walked for about three or four miles along the beach looking for the Scottish fella that I met on the on the bus coming here hoping to help me out with my new smartphone. Introduce me into the world of, uh, of smartphone and all the little apps and everything that help with my channel. Which we'll, we'll, we'll get there in the end, I'm sure. But the beach is pretty good, it's pretty quiet. I, I can't really do much about the waves. You know, that natural background sound. <laughs> and here, that's quite quiet here. It's a fancier swim. And uh, here where I am, you see all these little fishing boats. They all just wrapped up and um, obviously they've been out this morning I guess so basically I'm just dump, dump my stuff in one of these little fishing boats to go out there for a swim and I, I haven't really got to be paranoid about anybody walking off with my bag as such so I, I literally put look, just there in my bag so if I literally just put that crap there and now I can't go for my first swim or a dip. Whoa! Oh, oh, oh. Sea's pretty, well, you know, it's what it is. It's fairly, got a sandy bottom. I know the camera can get wet, but I don't really want to get it wet. I just want to get myself a bit wet. And that is, that's got to that point now where that get cold. Wow, wow. No, that, that's the building I walk from. Is that a great big building right in the back, back there? I think they're building it, it's not abandoned. I might try and see if I can get up on top of it and get some pictures or something. Or, no. I'm really glad I'm in John Chien Beach. Real cool place, having a bit of a swim, climatizing. Um, I kind of like it here, so like I said, I'm, I'm here for three days and I will go and find something to do. But that, that weren't a bad decision. It was a rapid decision getting on that little mini bus, which which to be honest that battered me to bits sitting on the back wheels again I've got a bit of a achy shoulder but you know I'm in the sea so I can have a bit of a stretch and everything's good and uh, the apartment is really cool so I'm really happy that I can stay here for two or three days well three I've booked for three days I'll, I'll, I'll check out on the 30th 
but you know I'm in no rush no rush to do anything at all so again thanks for watching guys <laughs> again back at the back by the way but it's all good fun so until next time have yourselves a good day cheers